What is up everyone, Son of Beast here. This time the rematch was is taken off here after the 2019 season in the West in the Eastern Conference Championship matchup as Toronto Raptors wins the series 4-2 over the Milwaukee Bucks. But Giannis Antetokounmpo looks out is looking out to take more effort that he wants to take on against Pascal Siakam. This time it's a rematch to start game one in the second round. Toronto Raptors meet Milwaukee Bucks in the second round. As I'm noticing right now, the Toronto Raptors did win the uh, did win the finals uh, after they beat, after they beat against the Golden State Warriors in Game Six. This was amazing uh, to, to see what uh, Toronto Raptors could do to find out what they could do to uh, to start showing off their ability. Not even that time if Milwaukee can make can make some uh, helps here to save some hoop heroes on each on each uh, dynamic duos, Chris Middleton or Giannis Antetokounmpo. While the other teams are still under progressing the plays out there they're looking for, Eric Bledsoe and Kyle Lowry, and it's Fred Van Vliet and Wesley Matthews, Oak Ananobi against Chris Middleton, Pascal Siakam and Giannis Antetokounmpo is your starting key matchup, and Serge Ibaka against Brook Lopez. That time, game one is at Fiserv.forum. Let's show, let's see what is happening now in Milwaukee. To find out who wins the first game. ...stands out for you as your favorite and if you see episode 5, make sure you find yourself here on 2K TV on this game. But that being said, that's all that's going to have to do to make sure they do it really well. Not only the one that we were seeing this, but this might be the only tough one. Wow, I, I did not know about the NBA 2K League expansion. The first we'll take one. But it looks really easy. But I haven't watched the NBA G League. That's a problem. The game is coming up next. Raptors versus the Bucks at the first game of the second round as the Canada team at USA at Milwaukee. Showing with no stop at all. But anyway. This might be coming in to find out what is happening between Pascal Siakam and Giannis Antetokounmpo. This is Fiserv.forum as the uh, as the new court has been released out and a new stadium has been put out to Milwaukee Bucks after the 2018 season at Bradley Center at the BMO. So with that being said, all the games being shown. Here's the end. The Greek Greek's points come in the paint. Giannis said, I can already do a lot of damage, basically without a jump shot. Just driving, making plays, and free throws. When that jump shot comes, it's going to be a problem for a lot of players in this league. Kevin? <laughs> the Greek Freak, ready to, ready to solve the mystery out of Pascal Siakam and the other team. And for Brook Lopez, you guys just already know this about 20.6 and 2016 and 17. Here's the starting lineups once one more time. And the key matchup is Pascal Siakam and Giannis Antetokounmpo in point forward position. So that time, Pascal is looking for something to come up with. But, but Giannis said, I need more time and ready to start things off, to pull up the attack. And we would like to head to the, back to the Eastern Conference matchup. Nick Nurse and Mike Boldenhoser are ready to start. The tip-off is ready. Let's see who wins. The Toronto Raptors wins the tip-off, and we start now. Kyle Lowry, after he was the Jordan player of the game, uh, he made a couple of three pointers, some assists, a rebounds, and an amazing defense that they played. Ibaka rolling over to Ahanobi, three seconds to shoot. Holds it up for Middleton. Brooke Lopez takes the first rebound after Rock and Anobi with the miss. Lopez. That's the last touch by Van Vliet, and that still stays Bucks ball. 
manufacture his own points. Who knows? Maybe that's growth within. Maybe that's Chris Middleton. Is he and all the crowd saying, let's go Bucks champ. Antetokounmpo grabs the first two. And here are the commentators, Kevin Harlan, Greg Anthony, and Brad Barry. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And so the Milwaukee Bucks And here's Milwaukee Bucks uh, with the starting group as Giannis has made itself with the next next point moving up to on its way. But for one of each uh, season that the uh, that Giannis can do is to find uh, is to find a great open pass, good look on open open offense in the D. And then with the defense and the drive that Giannis can look for the block that he was that they were looking at. Serge Ibaka with only two dunks. Yeah, this has happened on February 25th after they put up a loss against Milwaukee since the kickoff was being released on the NBA series of the of 2019 to 2020. So right now, let's find out what game one is. Giannis looking around. Letso outside for three. And it's off target. Siakam with the rebound. The first and second matchup as this might be the rival team for the Milwaukee Bucks. Trying to take out the Toronto Raptors. Finds Pascal Siakam. Off contested and Austin Kufo grabs the first rebound. Just five gone. Oh, recovered by Lopez. Austin Kufo looking around the floor. He passes to Bledsoe. Matthews rolling over to Middleton. With a one shot, Lopez. Lopez missed the shot as Chris Middleton couldn't put up an assist. You can ill afford to give a guy like him. Lowry to Ibaka. Ibaka up. Six points off the mark. And Antetokounmpo grabs second rebound. Oh! A start from Antetokounmpo as grabbing himself a dunk. One of each point forward position, one of each rival players might be Pascal Siakam against Antetokounmpo. Then it might be Serge Ibaka against, uh, against uh, Brook Lopez. Oh, we got a revenge! Pascal Siakam grabs two points. Bledsoe passes to Matthews. Almost put a rebound for Lopez, but Wesley Matthews misses his first shot. Ananobi against Middleton. Ananobi kicks to Siakam. No, he did. He made a mistake. See, what did I tell you? You made a mistake. That's what, that's what Pascal Siakam he distracts about. He doesn't really care about it. Matthews outside. The three goes in as Achikupo grabs his first assist. The defense for Bucks. The King losing it. Siakam with the drive and the King of the Raptor is back in. Six points for Siakam. Milwaukee trailing by three. With only one change will be uh will be Divincenzo. Fifteen feet. Bledsoe missing out. And Zorobaka. Ananobi against Middleton. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And then Siakam grabs his uh, another shot. Eight points. Timeout called by Milwaukee Bucks. Sides to talk it over. Very neat to help with the defense. And yes, I don't want any switches that time. Let me uh, let me call up. Uh, let me just bring out uh, Antetokounmpo uh, with the cover. He needs to stay on him. Watch, uh, watch any auto force directions. Uh, the screen on on ball. Go, don't go over. Uh, make sure. Uh, no head should be allowed that time. Watch the. Uh, watch somebody in front. And the gap of the off ball. Alright? Just making some change for Anshikumpo. He needs to stop on Pascal Siakam, and that's what we need to do. 
And we're going to pick a different look from uh, for offensive uh, skills for Bucks. Bucks with a with a change as Eli Sopa and George Hill comes in. George Hill trying to make his all-time uh, appearance. What he would like to do is to keep him from the uh, from the team from being special out. After George Hill's final seat uh, uh, with the seat back from season three with the Cleveland Cavaliers, he wants to turn things out and go with the Bucks after he makes the trade before 2019 season is over. George Hill, what a nice, what a nice move, as he has his first bucket. Right now, 217 left. Raptors lead by three. Davis finds Hollis Jefferson. Connaughton passes it to Boucher. Boucher outside, covered by Ailey Sofa. Then it's Powell from the wing. Four seconds to shoot from deep. Missed one off target here for Powell. Long pass. Boucher went out of bounds. That stays with Bucks ball as this last touch comes up by Boucher after the rejection. Right now, he's the lead leaders at their point of a lot of fast breaks over out on over uh, the Lakers with 23.4. Even shines out to Connaughton. Connaughton rolling up the long end. Passes to Hill. Layup. Toronto making another making another rebound to stop by. Hollis Jefferson. Floater up. And a second shot opportunity went loose. Bailey Sofa around the other way. Only the first rebound was recovered. Here's DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo around Powell, no good. Raptors leading by three. Still, Raptors lead by three. No score change yet. On the wing. Powell on the wing. From the baseline. Back to Hollis, Back to Hollis Jefferson. Jefferson. Lopez covering up Hollis Jefferson. Gasol against Hill. He's guarded by Hill. Around Hill, and there's a shot for Gasol on his first bucket. points in the paint. The points in paint was just 14 and 6 for Milwaukee in the point paint. Not 9 because it might be only the outer part that was looking at. Ilya Sofa back to Hill. Here's another drive recovered by Robin Lopez. And denied by Hollis Jefferson. 7 of 13 as there's only one block behind. Ed Davis. Trying to swipe it in as the Raptors claw the ball with a shot. Hollis Jefferson are against, against Davis. Screen on Marcus All. Running out of time is off the mark. DiVincenzo with the second rebound. Their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Eddie Sopa with the screen. DiVincenzo out of time. Shot! Made it in for the buzz beater. And that's the first two for DiVincenzo. What a shot for uh, by each team now looking out so far. But the Raptors are way out in front, looking for another win in the finals. We'll be back after this. Way you gotta say with the D, so it's like to compo. But in the Greek way, you say with the N T like ante to compo. Whatever you gotta just say, you know, it's yes and to compo. Onto the Kumpo. Say it right, and then you'll and you'll get to recognize what this last name is. So after the buzz meter for DiVincenzo, here's Gil. Covered by Bo Shure, but Corfer has got one. Corfer passed to Robin Lopez. And guys, what's your take on Toronto so far? Robin Lopez, fade away. Grabbing him out of the way, but Boucher grabs his second rebound. Davis passed to Powell, right in the paint. Before a free second violation on offense was called. Here's Powell. Coming around DiVincenzo. Davis is uh Davis trying to keep the rebound in, but the denying shot won't count. Here's a foul called on Powell, his first. As DiVincenzo will take his first trip to the free throw line. That's the first team foul for Toronto as Mike Boldenhost, Bolden Holden, 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 Hol
is his name. And this summer, he Bolden Hoser. Coaching the Canadian national team Bolden Hoser. If you say Bolden Hoser right, then then you would then you would have to name it correctly. And same thing, just like Giannis. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get that point. Divincenzo shooting two. Tough shot, but it's off the mark. Divincenzo only made a buzz beater. Were you surprised by the? If you surprised to uh, to take another buzz beater, then we don't know which one who will take it in. It might be tough, but not always. Not always a better chance. But the level of detail in the playoffs. Divincenzo hits the second one. They know everything that you're going to do. The Bucks trail by two. Powell against Divincenzo looking around the floor to scan in the drive. Now Powell will take it. Divincenzo trying to cover it, but it went but it went another another uh, basket for Powell. That's his first two for the night. George Gill lost it as the as a defender tried to snap it. Hollis Jefferson with a dunk. Timeout called by Milwaukee. No man covered on Hollis Jefferson. There might they needs to be a there needs to be close enough to find a to find a guard position on the man. We'll be right. We'll be right with you. Right after this uh, timeout, and then we'll uh, get back on the court. A different look from uh, from the Milwaukee Bucks. And right now, all four players subbed out. Van Vliet, I don't know. We have Siakam checks back in. Bledsoe lost the ball, and that's Van Vliet grabs it. The three left alone is good. And now it's a nine point That's nine lead. points for uh, for the Raptors to lead. Saw the defense was collapsing inside, so he Bledsoe finds Middleton. Reverse off the line as Ananobi grabs a stop. Lowry is hard nosed, as we all know. And if you ask him, it comes from his upbringing in Philadelphia. Lowry says a Philly player is what a basketball player is. We played on concrete. You got to be mentally tough. You're not trying to be athletic. You get hit the wrong way, you run into a metal pole. Kevin, that's what made him from Philly to Villanova to Toronto to an NBA champion. I don't know about running into the middle. All about the running position about each uh, of, of Kyle Lowry. Can be. David, thank you. Brown court and Gasol and Gasol grabs the grabs the rebound. Wow, the fans did not like it. This went really bad showing each team. Not that time. Williams makes his first rejection. Uh, it's taken away by Siakam. There's a foul on Middleton. His reach and foul. And now here are new changes as Gasol is checked out and Serge Ibaka is checked in. Four, four, four twenty-two gone by the, the, the first half. Van Vliet, Ibaka, covered by Brook Lopez. Passes to Lowry, and it's taken away by Brook Lopez since Siakam taking it around. Bledsoe with a two, and he gets it one in. That's the number two. That's the first two for Barrick Bledsoe, assist by Brook Lopez. Green light there to just rise up and shoot it. He did it there. Lowry trying to find a point in that he can that he can go for. And there is his first shot and his first point of the buck. First point basket. Just like Eric Bledsoe did. Corfer passed to Bledsoe. Last season, Brent, are you willing? <laughs> are you willing to call Brooke Lopez? Bledsoe passed to Williams. I am, but I think Brooke Lopez was Williams. Bledsoe running team. around Middleton, and there's a foul on Ananobi. For the rest of their lives. 
Middleton will take his first trip to the free throw line as the first personal foul is on Ananobi. That's, that will be the second team foul for Toronto. Not for uh, not for Chris Middleton. He was just getting there to fight his way through before he can get back into the game. One of each problem is that the Toronto Raptors are really hard in defense. And they are the only for only team in Canada that definitely play hard. Well, Chris Middleton is saying, saying these guys are really tough, like we were supposed to be doing, supposed to be playing. Which he says, Corporal Williams will check down. Matthews and Nachikumbo will check back in. Realized there was a self-awareness part of this. And but but for the rest of Milton's Milton sentences, some of his work is we have to work hard. If we don't train, then we are not good enough to beat against the Toronto Raptors. That's why we need to keep it focused and watch the player on offense. Now, Brown, here's Lowry. Lowry picks the three, assist by Ibaka. This happened on Monday after the win against Utah with just 27 points and 13 rebounds. Ashtakupo rolling it in around Siakam. Shot is off the mark. Lowry, only five points. Van Vliet with the layup and the drive goes in. 2.50 left. Anshikubo needs to get back in. And it's sent back by Ibaka. And they are losing more temp tempage. Lowry only with five points, not just uh, not going for another two, but he might need, may have to go with the pass. Blocked by Siakam, oh no, Anshikupo, uh, and the put back by Siakam. Here's Giannis, back out again. Dunk by Anshikupo, Siakam, without no question at all. Siakam almost got whacked by his head and almost hit, almost hit by an eyebrow or eyeball. The reach and foul is on Bledsoe, while Wesley Matthew was covered on Van Vliet. Now, the, now Bucks and Raptors are switching it up. Ananobi is checked out, Powell is checked in. And Middleton is checked out with Lopez and Robin Lopez with, uh, with DiVincenzo. I mean, Don... Con Connington. Siakam. Siakam trying to pull up a belt. This is the Lowry. This is the Lowry. Bucks ball as it went for the last touch by Siakam. Here's Norman Powell one more time. I think last five games was definitely more better than this season. At the offensive end, a different score than he had been earlier in the season. But so, with only two points, pass to Connington. Connaughton rolling over to Matthews. Screen on Giannis. Giannis, another one sent in. Great dunk by Giannis onto the Kumpo. Assist by Matthews. And there's the, there's two more dunks for uh, Giannis. The Greek freak is pulling back in to try to give it a shot. But they need some time out here in the first half because it was it did not it did not come out right. Siakam against Antetokounmpo, Serge Ibaka with the screen. Wide open look for Siakam. Wide open look, no good for Siakam, and pulled it up by Connaughton. Just 12 points for uh, Siakam, only one steal was broken by, by the Bucks ball. Back to Connaughton. Giannis, way outside. Free! Being capable of shooting is one thing, but being consistent with your shot Another young Just under a minute. Van Vliet against Matthews. Van Vliet. He's got five. Only five points for uh, Van Vliet. And the, the shot went off. And Yancha Kupo saying, how come was it a foul? You kidding me, right? And only six feet tall and He's only like six feet tall, but this man is not the same height, just like on Stukumpo. Van Vliet will have to shoot the shoot at the line for two. Toronto is saying, saying, quote, may the teams be with you about Toronto Raptors since the first call was definitely, since the first, since they came out a long time, Toronto Raptor was called 
Raptors was the first team in Toronto, Canada since there was a uh, since they named the uh, Raptor, since they named the dinosaur, that's the dinosaur named Raptor. If you guys just know one from the Jurassic Park, this is what they were looking for as uh, as the Raptor. They only claw it and they uh, scratches it. It's a nail releaser that that happens with the with both teams, and they need to know what what they have to be here. Antetokounmpo just. 11 points. Outside George Gill for three. Lead. Off target with a great D on Van Bleep. Taking it the other way. At one point they Davis covered by DiVincenzo. Thirty seconds. Nice D by Giannis as he picks up his uh, uh, first rebound is on Elisopa. Here's Giannis with a wraparound layup. Andre Kumpo has 13 points. Not biting up too much, at least, but uh, but Bambly is uh, Bambly and the other teams are biting him up a lot, clawing him out with a hand and a block to release the shot effort from the other team. And that's the end of the first half. 34 to 25 is your score. Milwaukee Bucks it wasn't enough to uh, to beat the pressure by Toronto Raptors. In control was definitely Siakam. And there are a lot of plans that they need to go through. Now let's send it over to David Aldridge on the sideline. David. Thank you, Kevin. Kyle, a good first half for you all. How do you continue that for the rest of the game? We're going to come out with our energy. We're going to come out and play our game, man. Keep going out there and push it. Our defense and everybody's rotating, so we're playing together right now. We'll see if you stay connected in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. Pfizer Forum will return after this intermission. Be back. Hey guys, welcome back to the Spicer Forum on the NBA 2K20 of the coverage of NBA playoffs. And we are ready to start the third quarter. Giannis looking very tired right now as the other teams are starting to put out a pick by Pascal Siakam, Serge Ibaka, and, and the other players. But he's trying his best not to give up. Let's find out what he could do. Starting right now, the third quarter. So, so uh, 13 points comes up by uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and now, uh, now he needs to find out more what he can do. But so, the drive foul on Ibaka. That will be his first personal foul with the start of the second half. Serge Ibaka wasn't enough to get to get momentum going, but he might be a little bit too much of pressure on the body weight on, on one of the players. Nick Nurse trying to give him uh, trying to uh, give him uh, uh, trying to help uh, Serge Ibaka with a tough contested shot, not to push too much pressure. That's what the problem is. They need to concentrate their own fertility. Bledsoe with two shots. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews, and it's Lopez in at the center. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. And since coming to the box, Eric Bledsoe hasn't been asked to do nearly as much as he has in the past. And for Bledsoe, that is a good thing, as he is best as a complimentary player. Not scoring as much, but his decision-making and shot selection have vastly improved. So two free throws comes in for Bledsoe. Thank you guys for suggesting for about Eric Bledsoe. Now let's get you right back on, on the Toronto. Here's Lowry, covered by Middleton, with a drive blocked by Middleton. And the foul goes on Brooke Lopez. Stop the clock at 6.35. Mike Bolenholzer, along with the block by Middleton. Lopez didn't seem to get it right. But for Giannis Antetokounmpo, he would have had to talk to a Brook Lopez to start to uh, to watch watch the man coming back into offense to defense. Lowry shooting two after a, after a foul by Brook Lopez. The first shot for Lowry is, has been uh, marked in. 
the Bucks are trying to keep it back in the second half since the early run come up by Toronto Raptors. One shot for uh, Lowry. Lowry makes two. So he makes them both. He makes both free throws and has seven points. And so Giannis will bring it up. Giannis bringing it up. Covered by uh, Siakam. Bledsoe around. Lowry. Bledsoe with a nice move right around Ibaka. Assist by Giannis. Looking around. Tough move here. Just like, uh, just like uh, James Harden. As you guys see, different from the Houston Rockets. Their next game is on its way after this game. Lowry, finding out to be the three, he, he did. That's five points right now on with the three-point bucket. Let's go down to the sideline for David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, after five years as an assistant in Toronto, last season Nick Nurse moved to head coach of the Raptors, and the team responded, winning the franchise's first NBA championship. Nurse has been at this for three decades. He got his first head coaching position at the age of 23. He has moved all throughout basketball, both domestically and abroad, guiding 15 teams in five different countries. After winning it all last year, Kevin, he's finally made it to the top. David, he sure is. David, he sure is. Right after the basket dunk by Giannis, Serge Ibaka has his second personal foul. Let's take a look at it one more time. Serge Ibaka would have had that right, but it went too soon as Giannis does it again, not get whacked by a face. Alden Hoser was proud of Oxley uh time since uh, his first draft in first round pick in 2013. Just lucky for Oxley Kumpo to take his shot ability and do it well for him. We may be now one shot for Anshikumpo. Developed throughout his career in the next decade. Free the Bucks no didn't find another possession. With improvement we saw during Giannis Antetokounmpo's first few Bucks years. Bucks trailing by ten. Went from raw to ridiculous. Nice D by Wesley Matthews as Siakam keeps the keeps the keeps not still, keeps the missed ball again. Goals. Matthews Abaka. Oh no, it's on Chikumpo with a three as the Bucks are coming coming going back for a comeback in the second half. And assist by Matthews. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Raptors leading by seven. Raptors lead by seven. Five minutes left. Van Vliet with it. Seven points. Lost the ball, but it went too early for Ron Chikumpo. Field goal percentage for uh, is on the board. Updated 51 for Raptors and 42 for Bucks. Now Giannis, Antetokounmpo, Matthews rolling over to Middleton. The, the rip the putback by Brooke Lopez. Antetokounmpo looking it over. Screen on Brooke Lopez. A two point off the line. At one point, they led by 16. Bledsoe covered by Lowry. Bledsoe against Lowry. But Lowry in the paint. Gasol with a missed layup. Bucks trailing by nine. Bucks trailing by nine. Not yet. But still, but still too early to start the second half. Matthews to Middleton. The drive, good by Middleton. Four points. It's hard to uh, to keep the to keep the points back in for for Middleton, but he finally had it through. Raptors leading by seven. Van Vliet against Matthews, 43 to 46 is your score. For for Furry, 3 40, 40 to go. Brooke Lopez has his second personal foul. We'll stop it from here as they're making some new changes. Three players sub out, three players checked in. Davis, Hollis Jefferson, and Moshe. And in the other corner is Wesley Matthews on Chicupo Lopez. Williams, Robin Lopez, and Kyle Corfer are checked in. Outside is Davis. Covered by Corfer without taking his shot. 
Six on the shot clock. Six on the shot clock. Don't drive. Comes up empty for Ed Davis, but he said the ball going the other way. Second rebound for Kyle Corfer. Corfer pass to Williams. Williams back to Corfer. Rolling the ball to Middleton. Great, great shot by Middleton. And that's six points. They don't want to leave Middleton from there. They're doing much more as they used to. That's right. They're down by five. Davis scanning the floor, looking the rim. Davis picks up a layup and the drive is pulling it back in. That's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Let's go past the Middleton. Here's some floppy moves here. Almost put a reach and foul on Lowry. Rebound by Robin Lopez. Let's go left side, moving around. Back to Middleton. The Bucks working the ball around. What's over three? Good! Assist by Middleton. What a shot from Bledsoe he made. Nine points. Now they're trailing up by four. Two ten to go. Screen on Gasol. Lowry on the other hand. Missed again with another miss by Lowry. Under two minutes is Robin Lopez. Only covers about two rebounds here after the miss by Bledsoe. There's a minute 47 left in the third. Bust he used a reverse layup and converts a number two. That's nine points, That's nine points for uh, for Bledsoe. And now has 11. Boucher with a reverse. Nice D by Williams as Lopez grabs his third rebound. Now they're trailing by two. Outside is Corfer. Bledsoe for the lead. A shot off for Bledsoe for the lead, no good. Hollis Jefferson will grab it the other way. Passes to Boucher, rolling over to Davis. With the shot, it's good for, for Davis. That's four points. Timeout called by Milwaukee Bucks. One of three left. 47 to 43. They need more help. Some changes for the Bucks as Kyle Corper has switched into the uh, into small forward as George Hill is checked in by by Bledsoe. DiVincenzo is also checked in by. Uh, eh, it is saying go Bucks. By the by that by that part I, I I don't know what you call that. And the shot's good for Hill as Davis picks up his first. Pretty and looks like Hill went back in the second half that he wants to keep it going. And now he'll send to the free throw line for a second time to shoot one. Stop the clock at 43 seconds to go. Hill makes one in. Well, first it went by Kyle Korfer after he played with the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Then his second step is to go with the Utah Jazz after he was traded in the 2018 season before 2019. And then it was uh, George Kill that just recently played uh, with the Cleveland Cavs, staying for another season. Trying to keep it back in, the momentum alive. And then Kyle Korfer likes to finish, wants to keep it in momentum to help out the three pointers with the Bucks. Ilya Sofa covered by Poche. Lopez over to DiVincenzo. Ilya Sofa for the tie. Yes! It ties up by 49 as Ilya Sofa has the first bucket of three. Half court won't make it in as the end of the third quarter is on. Milwaukee trying to put some comeback here and they are revenging the Raptors in the first game. This is incredible to check it out from here. We'll send you back to the uh, Pfizer Forum in the fourth quarter after this one.
Here's the state of the game. Here's the uh, here's the assist of the game presented by State Farm, or I should say, State Farm assist of the game. Taking a look around from DiVincenzo to uh, George Hill. When George Hill doesn't realize that he was going to do it, they definitely did show you the last game that you have just seen before. It was just short, short to tell you that they did found out about DiVincenzo. A great assist. And with a lot of baskets that was pulling out one of each team in the first game. Brooke Lopez covered by Ibaka, Hollis Jefferson passes back to Ibaka. Two man covered. Steven Givenzo, Givenzo off the line. Oh, that's Conaté. First field goal for the fourth quarter was Ibaka. As the tie comes off by two. Connaughton outside, the three, went deep, and not enough to put it up, to put it up, but number a point for Connaughton for the first time. Siakam turning around the other way, and no man covered him. Siakam trailing by four points behind, behind Ante de Kumpo. DiVincenzo to Connaughton. Here's Connaughton. Connaughton past the hill. Ed Davis on the guard. Davis in the paint, and that will put him up another point. Hill's got seven points in this game. Giannis getting ready to get back in the court when the next dead ball is out. Here's Siakam. Siakam putting a rebound. Blocked by Brooke Lopez. Siakam again, and there it went. A, a big save by Siakam. Siakam, as Serge Ibaka didn't want to pass, but his shot was off. That one's off target. Serge Ibaka was pulling it back. Powell with it. Covered by Lopez. Blocked the pass by Lopez, but pass it to Davis. 5-13 by in the fourth quarter. Fadeaway jumper for Ibaka is good. This by Davis. That's a six-point Raptor lead for Toronto. You know you can do this. There's something to be said about George Hill passed to DiVincenzo. And shoot comfortably. George Hill. Right through Lopez. Rolling around to Hill. Hill shots good. Swishes it through. Fans are looking right out of it from George Hill's mind. Using his head. Using his head, trying to keep it, keep it good. Timeout Toronto with 433 left. 57 to 53 as the Bucks trail by four. And now let's uh, let's make some one more changes here as I'm gonna as I'm going through here. Let's watch out for the two to three uh two to three zone. And, we'll, and let's watch. And let's watch out for. Uh, let's keep an eye on uh, on Siakam, and as Antetokounmpo will uh, will will make sure he's he's right in. Make it tight, and uh, and need to moderate him. Screen off ball, so he can go over. There'll be there'll be a bunch of a uh, bunch of uh, force directions in each spot, but I won't be uh, confusing it again to find out which one it is right. Here's a different look for uh, for Milwaukee Bucks and Toronto Raptors. Van Fred Van Lee comes back in. Siakam right away. Layup for Siakam's good. Siakam has got 18 points on the court for just 16 minutes. The region foul on Siakam is first. Here's David Aldridge. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off. Then. And what a move for Austin Cooper after the screen on Brooke Lopez. Right over a buck on that was amazing. The unicorn guy. I don't know if we're gonna see what the unicorn's got to. It might be too much to look for. Siakam for three. 
Lopez grabs the rebound after an off-target for Siakam. Bucks trail by four. He passes to Matthews. Right around Siakam. And there's a point for Antetokounmpo as this one is getting close. Antetokounmpo rolling it back in as there's going to be a nice, a great comeback for uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. Four for three birdie left to play. Still more time. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. Floater up. It's holding by Antetokounmpo. His fourth rebound. Matthews against Van Vliet. He passes to Antetokounmpo. There's DiVincenzo on the wing over Lowry. And there's the two. As DiVincenzo was sending it back right around uh, Lowry as they're going to put some things up the pressure. Right around Lowry and there you go. Three minutes gone by in the fourth quarter as they are tied by 59. They get a hand on it. They get a hand on it for Lowry. Defense everywhere. They're going through, in, and out. Wide open for Ibaka, and the timeout will go by the Bucks. It, it, this is a mistake, Badger. We need to leave the man open. If, if they if they leave the if they leave the cover of the defensive ball with the contest shot, then somebody has to gonna make it in. So anyway, Brook Lopez is done. So Robin Lopez is coming back in. And then we'll set up a number uh, look. Oh, I guess uh, I guess this will be uh, Spurs' part. Now here's your Jordan player of the game. This one is going out to Pascal Siakam. Pascal Siakam. If it's Pascal Siakam, that represents the HSH. But if you say Pascal Siakam, that's SC. With the name by uh, by, Pas by, uh, by Siakam with the first name after it was uh, a bigger part of the Pascal Siakam person. Bucks trailing by three. Antetokounmpo needs an eye on the one of each player to tie it up. Robin Lopez going for it. Antetokounmpo with the rebound. Middleton passing it back to Robin Lopez. Right over to Antetokounmpo. With Leslie Matthews. Yes! The three is... Puts it in, and someone's back. That's three assists for Middleton. And the crowd is going to remain silent here if they're going to make it in time. But first, timeout is called by Toronto. They're going to have to try things up a bit before we get back into work. So right now, uh, what we're being said is uh, Giannis... Looking very hard. I don't know what his first draft for Pascal Siakam. Well, let me see what it is. What is his first draft? When did Pascal Siakam first draft? The Toronto Raptors drafted Pascal Siakam with the 27th pick of the first round in the 2016 NBA draft. So Pascal Siakam, he was a 27th pick in the first round back in 2016 with Ben Simmons. And now we're going back to man-to-man. -man. To hey, Gasol with the reverse layup. Two minutes left here as Antetokounmpo trying to figure it out. What's their next plan? Oh, the attack. Oh, he never got a chance to do that, but he did. 24 points for Antetokounmpo, mid-range was just 6. Here's Lowry. Screen on uh, Gasol. Alley-oop, and it went in. 
Al you pass for uh, for Lowry as Siaka was just dropping it back to the front line. Bledsoe tying it up. It is going back to back right now as Eric Bledsoe did have a chance to keep it back in. Minute 33 left. It's all tied up again. Lowry against Bledsoe. Pass to Gasol. No man covered. And there's the three for uh, Gasol. Went from deep. Confident. Nobody was covering him. Rebound by Giannis. Lavin Lopez over Gasol. A rebound. Put back by Giannis. Another time for Ronch de Kupo, and they're pulling it back in to go it again and all over. Lowry against Butso. 54 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. To the middle. And this brass is broken up. Here's the two. And it's off the line and keep missing out. But the man open didn't work really well. Lowry missed the three. Put back. Oh, almost went away. But Yanchi Kupo was has his second. And this was a rival team once again from the Canada to USA. This is not how it goes by each team, by the North and the and the deal. Gasol shooting two. His first shot is when comes in. And Brooke Lopez is back on to sub out Robin Lopez. Bucks, Bucks players are staying silent, getting a little bit worried. One shot for Gasol. We want Gasol in the books. But there's no Paiu Gasol because uh, Paiu might be retired. There's 31 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Near the three. Oh, it falls it in, and Toronto calling a final timeout. What a save by Bledsoe. Just stop the clock with 26 seconds. How do you expect about Bledsoe? He's doing really well. All right, so Middleton is out. Kyle Corporal is checked in, and he's going to help him out before the quarter is over. Let's find out what happens now. This is it. Their only possession for the game one with the start. Anachikupo has his first personal foul. One on one for Siakam. Two on one, sorry. He drops the first one. If the Bucks can tie it up, then we'll have to send it over to overtime. Nope, didn't seem to look right. And now DiVincenzo, here we go. The three, off the mark. Didn't work out really well. Van Vliet took the ball away as DiVincenzo calls his first personal foul with a personal, personal foul. 14.4 seconds. Good on, the first. Good on the first. And now the last one. Bucks are losing the, losing the possession. Van Vliet grabs two. Timeout called by the Bucks. Now they're going to have to fight, fight their way back to, in order to uh, keep it, the ball to finish game one. It's not going to be very easy to, uh, to find out from here. It, this might be hard in the second round, as I already just said this uh, after the first game, of Sixers against the Heat. And if you don't know what would happen, then it might be a very tough, tough uh, spot that we need to go for. And we're going to need to keep it, keep it in mind about what they need to know about. And this is what we all have to do. Let's just go out with the 21 delay. And find out which one will it be. 
There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Corver dishes to Lopez. Back to Corver. Corver for three. That's off the target. One more possession for Raptors. DiVincenzo with the second personal foul, and Van Vliet will shoot at the line to shoot two. Excellent shot for Van Vliet, and it looks like Pascal Siakam is the only Jordan player of the game. And it cannot connect. Buzz beater again, one more. And it's good, but that might be too much time to do, and it won't be enough to keep it going. The final score is 75 to 72. Toronto wins the first game one to zero over the Bucks. I'll tell you what, it's the rival team, but you don't know if Kyle Lowry might be the only person that wants to come back in. But Pascal Siakam has it in again. Let's send you over to David Aldridge. Thanks. Mark, it seemed like you guys came out early and wanted to jump on them, and that would control the game. Is that what was going on? Um, yes, I wish I had that way. You know, man was looking for it a little bit. So, you know, we're learning, we're getting better. You know, and uh, it's a process. You guys really come in together. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you DA. Thank you guys for watching. The second game for Milwaukee and the Raptors between USA and Canada will be coming back still at Milwaukee. And the last game of, of round two will be the Rockets and the Lakers. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next playoff game from here. Until next time, peace out, bitches, for as well as an NBA playoff dial. Peace. Till now.